for fine just quickly let me know if my voice is perfectly clear and audible to all of you and i welcome you in this monthly current affair obviously this is going to be for the month of july so guys i hope you all are ready and let me tell you one thing very clearly you don't have to note down anything all you need to do is you need to answer the questions that i have as i have made lot of questions for you all simply i just wanted to give you the information but i have made the questions around that information only so i'll be giving you all the questions and also the answer and also i will tell you the brief about that particular issue so quickly tell me in the comment box if i'm audible and please quickly share this session with all the friends of yours who actually want to know the current affair topics of july month and uh, yes 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 welcome 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 let me see who all i have joined the session till now कौन कौन जुट चुका है हमारे साथ लेट मी सी इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स गाइज ओके बिफोर आई बिगिन लेट मी क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ टू दोज हु आर वॉचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इफ इन केस यू डोट नो मी सो गाइज माई नेम इज जोशित सिंह एंड आई हैव फाइव प्लस इयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस एम टेक फ्रॉम आई आई टी रुड़की गेट 2018 टॉप अप प्रोड्यूस ट्वेंटी प्लस टॉप रैंक हंड्रेड इन एस सी एंड गेट एंड माई एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज ट्रस्ट मी इट ड मैटर टूडे राइट हाई अहमद हाई वेलकम टू द क्लास so i think uh, i'll just quickly go to the, some basic information which i have for you all okay before i begin let me tell you one more thing rakesh sir and dheera sir is going to come in front of you with a free workshop to guide you a topper's blueprint to success in gate 2024 on 8th of august exactly 7:30 pm okay i think uh, rakesh sir specifically asked like uh, he was ki let's let's plan something something that can be help to student something that can give help to a student a gap should be filled because i think current affair is something which you are not looking for right now they yes we understand and that is the reason why we are having this session where we are going to give you the nichod the crunch of entire month in one video along with this ppt in the telegram group okay guys Are you all ready? Are you all excited? Can I see some hard sign in the comment box, everybody? So let's go ahead with the very first question which I have for you all. Which company announced the opening of a global fintech operations center in Gift City, Gujarat? Everybody, you have to answer. Just answer this question, and I will give you all the additional information which is required. Is it Apple? Is it Google? is it microsoft or is it samsung which of them is having the global fintech operation center in gujarat everybody okay very well i have got one answer let me get let me just tell you the right answer by the way the right answer for this question was goes to option b which is google now let me give you some brief about this information so that if this information is being asked in any other format अगर ये सेम चीज किसी और फॉर्मेट में पूछा गया आपसे तो आप उसका जवाब कैसे देंगे ओके सर सो द टेक मेजर गूगल अनाउंस द ओपनिंग ऑफ द ग्लोबल फिनटेक ऑपरेशन सेंटर इन गुजरात गूगल इज आल्सो इन्वेस्टिंग 10 यूएसडी बिलियन 10 बिलियन यूएसडी इन इंडिया डिजिटाइजेशन फंड इंक्लूडिंग इन कंपनी वर्किंग इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो अगर वो आपसे सवाल पूछे इफ दे आस्क यू अनदर क्वेश्चन दैट विच ऑफ देम विच ऑफ देम और यू कैन से विच टेक कंपनी इज इन्वेस्टिंग टेन बिलियन डॉलर इन दी ए आई मार्केट ऑफ इंडिया देन यू कैन आंसर गूगल विल बी योर राइट आंसर ओके सर क्लियर एवरीबडी एनी डाउट guys it would be great if you can share this session right because i understand maybe you guys now are not that much interested in current affair right but let me tell you current affair or any non tech subjects holds the same importance as your technical subjects right so that's the only reason i'm asking you to please be with me be engaging in the comment section and whenever i ask you something do reply that is going to be super help for me as well to understand that what doubt you are having in your mind regarding the question okay next question which union ministry presented the inaugural report on critical minerals for india critical minerals everybody come on come on come on yes 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 good 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 give the answer is it ministry of mines is it ministry of chemical and fertilizers is it ministry of home affairs or ministry of environment forest and climate change what should be the answer guys come on han ji be uh, at least just take a guess take a try okay very good we get the one answer which is uh, d option okay d option ek bachche ne bola hai let's see if it is correct or not 
All right, all right. See, the right answer to this question where you can understand, you know, uh, inaugural report on critical minerals for India. So you, you can you can take a wild guess as well, right? And this should be the Ministry of Mines, everybody. Sir, is it a first session affairs? No, you did not miss anything. This is the first session. And I hope you will learn a lot of things from this session. Okay, very well. Uh, let me give you more brief about this particular information. So please understand carefully. The Ministry of Coal and Mines, uh, okay, the Minister of Coal and Mine, Pralhad Joshi, has officially presented the inaugural report of Critical Mineral for India. The report was prepared by a team of experts appointed by the Ministry of Mines. This list, for the first time in India, has identified the comprehensive list of critical minerals. This is happening for the very first time. So that is what it makes it more important. Okay. Identified for the first time the list of critical minerals while considering the requirement of sectors like defense, agriculture, energy, pharmaceuticals and telecom, etc, etc, etc. All right, guys. So this is one information that is going to be helpful for you all. Remember this. They can ask you in any other form as well. Moving on to the next question. Which union ministry issued guidelines for resource adequacy planning framework? Come on, give it a try. Try karo, kya ho gaya? Galat option doge to kaun sa negative marking ho jayegi ya kaun sa? Main aapko bolunga ki aray, aata nahi hai aapko. <coughs> Come on. Guidelines for resource adequacy planning framework. Resource se kya lag raha hai? Kaun ho sakta hai? Who is the one? Is it ministry of science and tech? Does it de uh, deal with resources? Is it Ministry of Power? Is it Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change? Is it Ministry of Commerce and Industry? What do you think? Ahmed has given the answer as option C. Very well. Let's see. Okay, so by the way, the right answer to this question should be Ministry of Power. I'll give you more brief about this. I will give you more brief about this. Please take a look at this. Okay, so what do we have here is, let me see why it's not working. Okay. I think something is not right with this. Anyways, yeah, it worked. So guys, please understand in consultation with a central electric authority, electricity authority, the union ministry has released guidelines for the resource adequacy planning framework for India. These guidelines, now be careful, have been formulated in accordance with the rule 16 of the Electricity Amendment Rule 2022. The guideline will ensure that the sufficient electricity is made available to power the country's growth by putting in place framework for advanced procurement of resources by DISCOMS to meet the electricity demands in a cost-effective manner. Please remember this. We have in India there's a huge, huge, huge concerns related to discoms. So you should be aware of this thing, right? So can you give me some examples of discoms, everybody? Just give me your, your local discom, maybe your regional discom. Like uh, in Agra, we have someone else, right? Maybe you are from some other part of the country. You may have someone else. Quickly tell me some of the examples of discoms. Jali bataiye, sir. I will tell you what is the problem with them, right? What is the, the main issue that they are facing right now? It is obviously related to finance. But what do you think? Quick answer, everybody. <clears throat> Chali, yes, sir. Are, batao, yaar, kya ho gaya? Pehli baar sunai ke, ye word. How many of you have heard this word for the first time? Discom. I wasn't expecting this, by the way. Come on. <coughs> okay, very well. Nobody's interested, I guess. <laughs> what is the name of the type of electricity tariff which includes the lower tariff during daytime and higher tariff high rates during the peak hours. So this is something which I have just now, uh, you can say, uh, added. So that's why it is one of the questions that I should talk about. So here, by the way, the answer is differential time based tariff, which is option A. So understand this, the government has indicated its intention to introduce differential time based electricity tariff 
involving lower prices during an 8 hour period in the daytime and higher rates during peak hour power consumption hours. The Ministry of Power recently announced amendments to the Electricity, the Right of Consumers Rule 2020 which includes the incorporation of provisions for time of day TOD tariff what you can say. Next question, Anbhag, Anbhagya scheme is to be implemented by which state or union territory? Is it Kerala? Is it Karnataka? Is it West Bengal? Or is it Assam? Come on. Guys, answer. Hanji, Anbhagya, Bita, Anbhagya. Okay, so the answer should be Karnataka. Let's understand this. So the Karnataka government intends to implement the Anbhagya initiative which seeks to offer 5 kg of rice, how much? 5 kg of rice to each member of below poverty line household, each member. So this is something that you should remember. Due to inadequate rice availability, the government has opted to deposit funds into the beneficiary's bank account instead. So in case there is no rice, so whatever is the cost corresponding to 5 kg rice that is going to be transferred to the uh, whoever is the beneficiary, unke account mein wo paisa dal diya jayega. Next question, which union ministry announced a project to install transponders in sea vessel? Okay, transponders in the sea vessel. So I think this is something that you can answer very quickly, everybody. Go for it, everyone. Go for it, everybody. <coughs> yes, Ahmed. Hanji, so this is very obvious question, Ministry of Fisheries. So, uh, let's go with this. Transponders are wireless tracking devices that function by utilizing radio frequencies. The national rollout project for vessel communication and support system, which includes the installation of transponders, has been granted approval by the central government. The initiative aims to equip around 1 lakh fishing vessels across coastal states and union territories of India. Please make them a note. It is super important. May come in the examination or may not. Next question. What do we have? Okay. Gift Nifty is, is the first cross-border initiative in connecting the capital market of India and which country? Singapore, Japan, France or USA? Come on. Nifty. I hope you know what is Nifty. Do you know what is Nifty? Do you know what is Sensex? How many of you know what is Nifty and what is Sensex? Okay, sir. Seems like nobody interested in, like totally not interested in the session. Fine for me. Okay, right answer is Singapore. Moving on. So, Nifty is the first cross-border initiative in connecting India and Singapore's capital markets. The Singapore exchange SGX Nifty commenced trading from Gift City in Gujarat, successfully completing more than 30,000 trades in a single session. Well done. Next. Which state UT has launched a basic income scheme for women named... Whatever name it is. I'm sorry, I can't read it. I don't want to read it wrongly. I should avoid it. Please give me the answer. Uh, again, you can guess West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Canada, oh, sorry, Karnataka, Odisha. I was having something in my mind. Sir, I am feeling demotivated. My whole thing is wrong. Oh, it's okay, na. Agar aata hi hota, to fir session mein kyu aate? Ya agar aata hota, if you knew something, if you knew every question, then what was the purpose of you to come to this session? It's okay. If you don't know, that means you are at the perfect place. You are supposed to be here. You are supposed to get this information. Now, when the session will be over, you will be going from here with a lot of information. Right, sir? It's okay. Okay, what is the right answer? The right answer to this question should be Tamil Nadu. Let's understand why. 
तो तमिलनाडु हैज इश्यूड द गाइडलाइंस स्कीम एज पर द गाइडलाइंस द वुमेन विद एन एनुअल फैमिली इनकम ऑफ लेस देन 2.5 लाख फैमिली लैंड होल्डिंग्स नॉट एक्सीडिंग 5 एकर्स वेटलैंड ऑब्वियसली एंड 10 एकर्स ड्राई लैंड एनुअल हाउस होल्ड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंजम्पशन बिलो 3600 यूनिट्स वुड बी एलिजिबल to avail themselves of a monthly aid of rupees 1000 in tamil nadu 1000 my goodness if it is too much very well i hope everyone is clear next question which state or ut launched the upgraded version of pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana mukhya mantri amritam pmj ma Come on, come on, champions! Good dance, sir. Give dance, sir. Is it Karnataka? Is it Maharashtra? Is it Gujarat? See, obviously they are. Maybe they don't know. Uh, they don't ask you question like this, right? But definitely they can ask you anything from this information. So that is the whole purpose, which I told you initially. That don't just go to the questions, but also understand the entire thing around that question. That is more important. Come on, everyone. <clears throat> answers, answers, answers. That's it. That's what I'm asking for. I don't think that it is a very difficult question, and everybody should know this. So please get the answer. Even if you don't know, it's okay. Give the wrong answer at least, and here you go. Gujarat is the right answer. Very good. So let's understand this. Recently, Gujarat government introduced an upgraded version of this scheme. It allows individuals to access free medical treatments of up to ten lakh and increase from previous limit of five lakh. So earlier, uh, the original scheme, when the original scheme was there, that time the uh, limit used to be of five lakh. But in the updated version, which is this one, now the limit has been extended to just double, which is ten lakhs, right? Increase of this a total of two thousand and twenty seven government hospitals, eight hundred and three private hospitals, and eighteen central government hospitals in the state are authorized to offer medical treatment and perform surgeries. Okay, please you can remember this. What was the earlier aid? What is the right uh, current aid? Earlier it used to be five lakh. Today it's nothing but uh, how much? Ten lakh. right not just government hospital but private hospitals are also the part of this scheme that's very important okay so sir is session conduct every month yes this is going to be there every month so that you can be updated about the previous month's current affair instead of giving you current affair daily it will be too much for you obviously this time you don't need that much but yeah what we have come across with was rakesh sir and everybody you know in your uh, branch The, all the faculty members in your branch, what they have come across with is that what we have to do is we have to give you the limited information, limited as in uh, there is lot of information about current affair. You are very well aware of it. You all are educated person, right? So if we will give you the all the information that is there in July or maybe in other any other month, it would be super difficult for you because right now I think most of you are not even done with your. Eighty uh, percent of the syllabus. How much percentage of the syllabus is done with you? Uh, can anybody tell me in the comment box? Your technical syllabus. How much it is completed? Just tell me in percentage. Hmm. <clears throat> यार आप लोग जवाब नहीं देते एक तो अच्छी बात नहीं है एटी टू एटी फाइव परसेंट इज डन दैट्स वेरी गुड बाय द वे दैट्स वेरी वेरी गुड टच वुड नाइस ओके मूविंग ऑन विच इंस्टीट्यूट हैज डेवलप्ड द बुक टाइटल हेल्दी रेसिपीज फॉर डिफेंस ओके वो दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ओके नबार्ड एफ सी आई एफ ए या फिर एफ एस एस ए आई कमॉन आंसर Which one of them has developed this book known as Healthy Recipes for Defense? Seventy-five percent. Yeah, you guys like totally doing good, right? 
just maintain the pace you will be done with your syllabus i suppose by november and that is the most appropriate time of completing any syllabus like very well superb then i'm also preparing for esc how i prepare for gs so gs i would say uh just consider the static subjects in your technical syllabus only and complete them according to your plan only uh, static subjects includes uh, anything except current affairs ict uh, most of the part of the ict is also static it is not changing and uh, apart from that environment energy and environment some part is there which is dynamic rest is something that you can go for right you can prepare no problem with that okay and uh, so that's that's what i would say don't keep it till the end can you tell the subject sequence see now all the subjects if you will see from the previous 3 4 years or 2 3 years sorry <laughs> you will notice now the weightage is uniform all the subjects are being asked in almost equal uniform man uh, manner uh, almost 10 questions are asking average 10 questions are asked from all the subjects so that's basically average because you have 10 subjects and 100 questions right so i would suggest you can start with something which is related to your uh, technical subjects like i suppose if you are from electrical or computer science then definitely you can start with the ict right because there is too much things related to computer network in it right a lot of things related to communication in it and you will be very very you know when you will look the syllabus look the notes you will feel very relaxed you will be like oh this is something which i have studied in my first year and uh, if suppose you are from electrical then you may also go for material science you can start with the material science subject that will give you again the same confidence that okay this is something which you have studied in your school time or maybe your first year right so those are the subjects you can start with subjects which uh, don't make you comfortable you can keep them for the later part also it's okay right sure the right answer is f s s a i let's understand it even better so a book titled healthy recipe for defense was released recently by defense minister rajnath singh and minister of health and family welfare dr mansook manvia okay it was developed by fssai the book aims this is important this all is rubbish this book aims to encourage the consumption of millets also known as shri an and hide their numerous highlight their numerous health benefit earlier the union defense ministry signed mou with fssai ai to promote use of millets among the defense forces as well now this is something important right this is something important because lot of key points are here lot of key points like you can take the key point as this millet right this is a key point or this the other name of it right also union defense ministry has signed mou with fssai this is super important uh, to promote the use of millets among the defense forces obviously this is the reason okay next india india is set to co develop combat aircraft engine and engine for the indian multi role helicopter imrh okay which is indian multi role helicopter with which country i think if you think closely you will be able to answer it's not that difficult it was too much in news as well not because of this helicopter but because of some other uh air force related thing no not russia not russia uh, the answer is france let's understand it even better so india and france will extend their defense cooperation in advanced aeronautical technologies by supporting the joint development of a combat aircraft engine and an engine for indian multi role helicopter the helicopter is being designed and developed by state owned hal hindustan aeronautics limited is it something that you already know or not i think you know it right hal it is responsible for it next what do we have which union ministry launched crcs sahara portal C R C S Sahara Portal, C R C S Sahara Portal. Which one of them can do that? 
इंडस्ट्री मिनिस्ट्री फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री कॉपरेशन नाउ इफ यू नो वॉट एक्चुअली इज सी आर सी एस सहारा देन ऑब्वियसली यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर सिंस यू डोंट नो वॉट इज दिस सी आर सी एस सहारा पोर्टल यू कॉन्ट एक्चुअली इवन गेस दैट विच ऑप्शन शुड बी राइट बट एटलीस्ट ट्राई दैट वॉट आई ऑलवेज एनकरेज द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर गिव इट अ ट्राई इट मे बी रॉन्ग बिकॉज नथिंग इज यू नो गोइंग टू बी हैपनिंग you will not get any negative marking at least try you will remember that oh i have made the mistake in that question okay uh, that actually the right answer as well union cooperation ministry let's understand what do we have here so the union home and cooperation minister has recently launched the cr cs sahara refund portal it will facilitate the submission of valid claims by authentic depositor from four cooperative societies associated with the sahara group you know sahara group right this is a part of refund of rupees 5000 crore to depositor of four sahara group cooperative societies whose funds are struck so this is for whom this is for sahara group people right next question the international energy agency i e a in association with which institution has released the iea oil 2023 supply and demand dynamics to 2028 report something related to oil is always important whether it is related to current affair or it is related to defense when it's oil something is going on please answer <laughs> come on come on come on answer you can like the session if we see that you people are engaging with the class we may see likes of yours or maybe comments in the later video when the video will be over then definitely we will be thinking or we will try to get you more classes like this on this channel only in english language only right and we'll try to give you the mixture of all the current affairs of the previous month in just one session okay and this session is not going to be too long like hardly 15 10 minutes more i will take anybody okay indian oil brc see when it's related to oil and everything right so <clears throat> brc no you can't go for that and gale also remains to iocl indian oil limited sorry iol and petroleum planning and analysis cell which is the right answer as well for this question so the international energy agency iei uh, iea the and petroleum planning analysis cell pap uh, ppac under the union ministry petroleum of and natural gas have jointly released a report titled this that you have seen in the question According to the report global oil demand is expected to be experience a significant de deceleration nearly reaching a standstill by 2028 my goodness something huge okay next question sir next question keh raha hai promotion of r and d and innovation in the pharma okay tech sector pharma med tech sector is associated with which union ministry if you will take a wild guess it will be correct that for sure i can say <clears throat> mm, it's related to pharma med tech sector if you break this down come on guys try to answer okay the right answer to this question is ministry of chemical and fertilizers let's understand so the department of pharmaceuticals research and development r&d scheme title promotion of research and development and innovation in the pharma medtech sector will soon be sent approval by the union cabinet the proposal has been reviewed in the empowered technical group etg meeting and is currently awaiting approval from ministry of chemical and fertilizers next question As per the recent discovery by the James Webb Orbital, okay, observatory project, which particle were identified in early universe? Something important, I would say. Science 
is related so there is a chance that they may ask you come on go for it <clears throat> is it silicon rich dust grain carbon rich dust grain lithium rich dust grain potassium rich dust grains i hope you all know about james webb telescope as per the recent discovery by the james webb orbital observatory project which particles were identified in the early universe okay okay raj raj ne jawab diya hai b okay so ahmed ne c okay dekho lithium to nahi hai khair carbon rich is right answer main bata deta hu iske bare mein aur The James Webb Orbital Observatory project identified carbon rich dust particle potentially composed of graphite or diamond like material in the early universe this discovery challenges current scientific model this observation suggests the possibility of a unique type of carbon based molecule potentially comprising tiny particles resembling graphite or diamond which could have originated from the earliest star or supernovae सुपरनोवा का प्लूरल नोवे नेक्स्ट विच स्टेट और यूटी लॉन्च अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन किट और खेल पिटारा किट खेल पिटारा किट्स और अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन किट ई सी सी ई और खेल पिटारा इनमें से कौन सा ऐसा स्टेट है या यूटी है हु हैव डन इट गिव इट अ ट्राई एवरीबडी ओके सर द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज न्यू दिल्ली नई दिल्ली दिल्ली चीफ मिनिस्टर रिसेंटली लॉन्च द अर्ली चाइल्डहुड केयर एंड एजुकेशन किट एंड खेल पिटारा किट इट वाज डेवलप्ड बाय स्टेट काउंसिल ऑफ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च एंड ट्रेनिंग एंड आंगनवाड़ी टीम The kit comprises games, toys, puzzles, and books. They will be distributed across eleven thousand Anganwadi centers in Delhi. Okay, so it's New Delhi. Next question, sir. Okay, what is the next question? X fifty nine, also known as the Son of Concord, is an experimental supersonic aircraft of which country? Russia, China, USA, or UAE? <clears throat> you can also subscribe to this channel everybody if you are new here and you like this type of session such sessions that may give you some new information right if you are already subscribed then you can hit the like button to the class yes sir come on okay russia someone said यूएसए एज वेल ऑल राइट सोचो सोचो यार सी देर आर फ्यू सब्जेक्ट दैट हैज टू बी कंटिन्यूसली स्टार्टेड लाइक मैथमेटिक्स इज वन ऑफ देम वेर यू नीड प्रैक्टिस मोर देन यू नो एनी थिंग अदर सब्जेक्ट यू स्टडी अ कॉन्सेप्ट यू प्रैक्टिस सम क्वेश्चन एंड दैट सेट बिकॉज देर आर यू नो अ बाउंड्री अंडर विच दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन इन गेट और ई बट maths is something they can ask you anything and how, doesn't matter how much practice you do it's always less but non tech subjects they has to be i would say acknowledged you have to study them in any case you cannot leave them okay all right so the right answer to this question would be usa x59 let's understand <coughs> as nasa is gearing up to conduct test on its latest experimental supersonic aircraft the x59 affectionately uh, okay affectionately known as the son of concord there is a serious anticipation for a potential supersonic revival this advanced aircraft has the potential to traverse any two location on the globe in just 2 hours can you imagine like any any two places just two hours raising hopes for a return of supersonic travel which was 
a thing. How many of you know that earlier we used to have supersonic travel? Do you know this? But it used to be so expensive that it cannot sustain, right? And since it cannot sustain, uh, the use is now being obviously discarded. All right, sir. So these were, I think, the few important current affairs from the previous months that you have to be known of. Now I will come back in another session to give you the in-depth knowledge of another current affair issues that may happen in the previous years. If you have liked this video, you can please hit the like button, share it with your friends and please you can tell me right now also how was the session. Yes, surely I will send this PDF to my uh, telegram group. Uh, the telegram group goes by the name of <coughs> civil by ninja sir so this is my telegram group in case anybody needs this pdf please you can get it from here i will post it asap and that's it thank you so much everybody for coming to the session attending it i'll see you in the next class till then please take care of yourselves please please take care of your family have a nice day good night bye